Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 29th tutorial in this series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. Now in this tutorial, we're going to learn to use the if then else statement. What we're going to do is uh, we prepared the shell script in our previous tutorial, right? And it uses the if statement and uh, what it does is it checks the exit status of the move command that I have here. And if the exit status comes out to be zero, then uh, the statement at line six, that is the only executable statement between the then keyword and the fi keyword gets executed. And if the exit status of this command is one, which means that if this command fails to uh, perform its operation successfully, then the script does nothing. Now, we're gonna enhance this uh, script in this tutorial. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make it display a message for us even if this statement returns an exit status of one, that is if uh, the file could not be renamed successfully. So uh, it's actually very simple. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna create a new shell script and I'll save it in my home folder and I'll give it the name if then else, the extension sh and I'll save it. And I'll simply copy and paste uh, the code from this script file to my new script file. I'm feeling too lazy to type uh, the same code again. And uh, I'll edit the comment. And now we have to uh, make it do what we want it to do. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to first place the else keyword within the if block. Now the if block is anything and everything that appears between the then keyword and the fi keyword. So if I remove my else block, sorry, the else keyword, uh, we just have one statement that is the statement at line 6 uh, in our if block currently but it can have as many statements as you want so you know if I would uh, put a clear here then my if block would have two statements instead of one right and if I would uh, let's say put a touch command then it would have three statements so that's the if block but if I would put else here then the if block would get split and by that I mean anything between the then keyword and the else keyword would now be the if block and everything between the else keyword and the fi keyword would be the else block. And the else block would get executed when the exit status of the move command here would be one. So it's actually, it actually works in the reverse way. With if, if the exit status of this move command is zero, then the echo statement at line six get ex gets executed. And uh, with else, if the exit status of this command here would be one, then the else block would get executed. So in the else block, in this tutorial, we're, gonna, we're just going to put an echo statement and we are going to display a message, something like uh, the file could not be renamed. There you go, I'll put a full stop, make things tidy. Now I'll uh, bring up my terminal and execute the script for you guys sh space if then else dot sh and it's gonna it is it's asking me for two names and I'll just supply two random names I'll make sure that the first name that I supply is not a valid file name so I'll simply type in uh, random because I know that this file doesn't exist and uh, second file name would be uh, anything YouTube maybe and if I press the enter key then first the shell returns an error message uh, that uh, you know that got generated because of the failure of the mv command at line 4 and after displaying its own error message it displays the error message uh, that we wanted the script to display in case the exit status of move was 1. So you people must be wondering what's the use of uh, putting this echo statement here the shell is anyway going to tell us uh, you know that there was some problem with the move command the purpose behind this tutorial was not to you know uh, prepare a script that displayed an error message but the purpose was to uh, take you guys through the if block the else block and uh, how these blocks actually uh, get executed and in what conditions these blocks get executed that is uh, the if block works when the exit status of the command is zero and the else block works when the exit status is one. So, you know, instead of having an echo statement here, you can have anything else and, you know, uh, that part of code would uh, be executed just the way the echo statement has been executed. So, there you go. 
uh, this wasn't the best example that I could have come up with. I should have planned better for this tutorial, but uh, anyway, I hope you guys got the main message behind the script and behind this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to learn uh, another statement that would allow us to make, uh, you know, uh, decisions in our shell programs. It's again a variation of the if statement and uh, it would uh, provide us a few more options. So uh, I hope you guys uh, had fun watching this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel.